I can't travel anyhow. If I want to travel, sometimes I call, it's okay for us to come back. They say, no problem. Before I can now travel to it. It's not good at all. I'm telling you, it's not good. The recurring attacks in the northern part of Nigeria had waned before the 2023 elections. But in recent days, the region has experienced vicious attacks on local communities and kidnapping of people by criminal groups. People talk took to the street to ask Nigerians about the recent resurgence of terrorist attacks in northern Nigeria. Um, there was a past president that said that when insecurity survives past a certain period, then somebody in authority, you know, is uh, knows something about it. You know, so my, my idea is this. We have all the military forces. We have a sovereign nation. We have the armed forces. We have the Navy. We have the police. We have intelligence. If they want to do something about it, they will do something about it. Um, there is not there is no amount of funding that the terrorists are receiving that can be up to how much our security agencies are receiving in Nigeria. So it is doubtful that they cannot do anything about the security situation in the country. It raises a lot of questions to the sincerity of the government in addressing security in the country. It looks as though somebody knows something about it and somebody can do something about it, but somehow somebody has not been doing the right thing and then probably, you know, tried to do some things during the election and then it has come back again because there's probably a relaxed um, atmosphere for them now. So. That's what I think. Somebody somewhere should be held responsible for that. I'm from East. I can't travel anyhow. If I want to travel, sometimes I call, it's okay for us to come back. They say, no problem. Before I can now travel to East, I cannot book just like that and come back to Lagos. Now they are back in full force. The journey is not going to be easy for us again. My people, we cancelled the three or four meetings we have in the East concerning the whole issue. So he said, I know we are not coming this is the situation, everybody should relax, we are happy to uh, postpone it to another time because of the, the news we are getting from, uh, from them. And um, it's not good at all, I'm telling you, it's not good. Buhari was elected to do something about it, and that is what of, one of his own promises that is going to end terrorists in Nigeria. So here and there, already back in Nigeria again shows that um, Buhari disappointed us and the rest of Nigeria. At the moment, everybody is a little bit aggrieved and we are not happy with the, with the development. I would like government to do something about it, especially the security agencies to please tighten up things and uh, make sure that people are safe, people can go about their normal businesses and then there can be uh, peace and tranquility and uh, you know, there will be uh, economic development as a result of that. But we are not happy. That's uh, something like this is happening right now. It's been a while I heard about the the attack in the north. Probably I was in the vehicle because of the election that is stopped and because of the uh, currency issue, the recent currency issue. But now it's just surprising for me to hear again that the killings have started again. I don't know if it is a political issue or I don't really know. I just think that God will we take on two and protect those people in the north. I think Boko Haram has been weakened because of the two factions, the two uh, factions that they are fighting have made them to be very weak. And if we watch the current news, apart from the recent attack, they have been giving up, they submit their family and their children. They are, they are tired of the war and they have given up themselves, they have uh, surrounded themselves and a lot of things. Maybe it's the little ones that have not understood what was going on or what is going on now that is still fighting. But currently, Boko Haram has been weakened. Seriously, Boko Haram has been weakened. This is not the answer to Boko Haram. The issue between Boko Haram and the ISIS was what weakened Boko Haram. Where Shaka will die. The other fashion started fighting this Boko Haram insurgent. That is what is currently happening. And Boko Haram to stop the fight. Don't even do anything to them.